And welcome back to PTSD, it's your boy LC. It's Tyler. It's your boy Kamas. Y'all know what it is. Uh, today we got another Q&A video, part two Q&A. As hey, y'all yeah. can see, we got the merch. Got a motherfucking yeah. merch on, you feel me? It's type of PTSD. It's a PTSD shit. It's say PTSD on here. Yeah. I ain't even know about it. You yeah. Know, pray to go to stay down on the hood. Yeah, the hoodie say pray to go to stay down, you feel me? So. We got some more shit coming, you feel me? Hell yeah. Y'all let us know if y'all fuck with it though from what y'all see. That's the uh, one on ones type shit. Yeah. We was trying to figure out how we was going to do it. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, these not going to be the final product, but they gave us what? a glimpse into what it could look like type yeah. shit. You feel me? Like a little preview type shit. These are going to be one on one, sadly. You know what I'm saying? Because they were uh, samples. So. Yeah. All three of them different. All three of them different. Yeah. Yeah. All three of them are different from each other. It's yeah. just a sample from each other. Yeah, let us know. We could do the, some pink and white type shit, some red and white. You know what I'm saying? Not just black and white, but you feel me? Y'all just let us know if y'all fuck with these type yeah, shit. Yeah. If y'all fuck with them, we'll drop it. Yeah, yeah we'll drop them for real. You feel me? So, yeah. Uh, So, we're going to do the Q&A. And... Somebody had wanted to know how old we all is. I don't know. I think we answered that one last time, but uh, I, I don't mind. I'm 21. 22? Yeah, 22. Yeah, me and Brio 22, C21. Yeah, I'm the youngest. Why we be saying them girls gotta be grown in the <laughs> video, cause you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? Um, it had said, what do y'all see yourselves in the next five years? I think we answered that one too. We, uh, I don't remember that one. I don't remember this one. Uh, uh, still making content. Either it's on my own channel with PTSD. Right, yeah. I see myself still making content, doing something. Content wise. Content wise. Yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, yeah, content for real. Graduated for sure. Yeah. Uh, at least. At least more than half a million. And the next five years, probably a million. Like, not talking about subscribing, I'm talking about in my own. Money? Yeah, money wise, you feel me? Okay. You feel me? Uh, and it's just shit like that, just growing. And as a man, and just financially, and growing with the guys, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, this growing take off, and you know what I'm saying? It could just be one source of revenue for all of us, so. Yeah. Search game. I don't know. For me, I uh, definitely graduated for sure. Uh, I don't really care about no solo channel. My brothers are the ones that really got me into content, so I don't really care about, I'm not no social media type of person, so I, I like making content with them, you feel me? I don't feel, feel like I really be making content by myself unless they like motivate me to do it and like let me know I can do it. I'm not the, like I always thought being a YouTuber was cool, but I didn't ever have like a dream of like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do and it's going to work kind of thing. It's just like, right. I met them, you feel me? And, you know, they they were, was already doing it. And, you know what I'm saying, we all did it together. I never thought it would be what it is today type stuff. But uh, I I had peace already, so hopefully more peace. Uh, traveling more. Uh, I want to go out the country. You know some some cruises and stuff like that. And Definitely want to travel. Yeah, yeah traveling is uh, that was part of that. Shit yeah, five hundred k and up five hundred k is a goal. But if I'm up three hundred k in five years, I'd be cool with that too. So you know, so that pretty much it. I was gonna say, uh, it was the idea to start this channel. Actually, you know what I'm saying, the reaction channel type shit. And he came up with the name man, and everything like the pray to good to stay down and all that. So this wasn't like the original name. A channel type shit. I mean, that was the like the original name, but that wasn't like the first ideas he threw out. He threw out some ideas, and we decided between the ones he had created. And this is based like his old, his whole thing for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause he wasn't gonna do like he said YouTube by himself, so he just wanted us to be there with him. The next question was, um, they said they didn't want to be nosy, but why did y'all disappear for three months? Was it college life or <laughs> got this? No. <laughs> I mean, we didn't tell y'all verbally, but. Uh, I told y'all like the community chat. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was something. Yeah, it was something. Can't stay here forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. They think we really, everything we in prison. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, no we in college. We no. not in prison, bro. Yeah, 
type shit. Um, we go to the HBCU, and me and C from a different state than I HBCU, so we always go back home and work and all that. We was all gonna try to like vlog and drop shit like that and shit like that, but. Thank God it's playing. Thank God it's playing. Niggas was busy, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we did do a lot, you know what I'm saying? It, it was a lot that we all could have vlogged too, you know what I'm saying? But like when you living in the moment, you don't be thinking about picking up no camera. Yeah. You know and we all not like complacent people. We we always doing something. It's never just like what y'all been up to. I just been on the game. Like that might be during the school year, but even during that, we still be having like doing something or putting something in motion, you feel me? Especially over the summer, when we not at, like, school really be having us stagnant, kind of, but we still try to do as much as we can, and compared to a, a lot of students, we do a lot, I'd say, especially for our age and stuff. We so. be busy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even, like, throughout the school year, but we really be busy when we go back home. Yeah, we really do be busy. You know what I'm saying? But that's, like, all of us type shit, so. Yeah. What you plugging up? Motherfucking light, nigga. They won't cut this out. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. So I'm gonna get that dip plugged up. Uh, there we go. Alright, um. I don't even. Maybe they heard you, but okay. Oh, what, what, what were we talking about again? Oh, how busy we be. Um, so the next question, oh yeah, how busy we be? I mean, yeah, we uh we all be busy. You feel me? Like we all be working and doing other things, uh -huh. and we all like when me and bro go back home, we always got like um people to hang out with, events to go to, and that's like every day. So when we not at work, we with the fam doing something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's cause you know, a lot of our family want to see us, so we just uh -huh. making sure we make time for our them, and like a lot of our homeboys yeah. too. And if y'all have any ideas of what y'all would like to see for like when we all knock together, because eventually we all will always like be together, you feel me? Because all of us real close, but just there will be times when we not, you feel me? We not just going to be next door, you feel me? So if there's a way we try to do the Discord thing, uh, but we didn't like the way the quality was coming out and everything. So hopefully we can improve that so that if we... Do the side of the door again, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can make that better. We can make that. Yeah. Just throw some ideas out there. You feel me? It'll help out a lot. Cause I, a lot of y'all be like, please don't stop making videos. And it's not that we'd ever just be like, oh, bump that video stuff. It just be like a situational thing to where it be like, damn, we might not be able to be able to put out the content that we want to because we're not together, or we might not be consistent. Like it might be shit. We might see each other every three, six months and be like, hey. Surprise me, you know what I'm saying? Like, saying? After graduation, like, so that would be crazy. So. That's what uh, we was kind of thinking, like doing the solo shit on here, uh -huh. but it's like just like solo reactions, which whatever like person get whichever video get that video type shit, yeah. Or like just vlogging for y'all individually, but that would be like probably a vlog per person once per month type shit, like how they month went or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever like. Y'all would be interested in the whatever would be entertaining for y'all. We don't really do like pranks and shit like that, but whatever like y'all could, you know what I'm saying, what's within our boundaries and yeah. within our power to do, you know what I'm saying, we'll most definitely try to get it. And whatever we comfortable doing, yeah. you feel me? We ain't finna be out here just doing shit to, yeah. to well, do we was, it. No, we was doing like the whole podcast thing, but I don't know if we like, I think we posted it and I don't think like many people like, seen that but we don't know if y'all would just like want to hear us three talk or hear us talk with like other people or how to go about that because we could just post like uh talks or podcasts or socratic seminars on here or we could tell y'all about like the books we be reading and shit you feel me or like show reviews it's just anything besides like just music and yeah. stuff like that so yeah if y'all nothing but if y'all want that podcast we can really Download it from the other channel and just put it on here. Yeah. Instead yeah, of just get, like, keeping it on the other channel. Cause that one, I don't even think it got 10 views. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we could do yeah, like yeah. life advice and all types of shit. Especially like for the fellas out there. You know what I'm saying? For the guys or whatever. I mean, the even, for, even for the ladies too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Some shit we talk about, y'all might want to hear. You feel me? Like, like I'll, I'll we be having some deep <laughs> combos. Really deep. I mean, you know sometimes we be talking like for hours. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. Especially when more guys are involved. Yeah, and yeah, we we help a lot of people and like off camera stuff. Like a lot of 
people come to us, you feel me? And we all go to each other, you feel me? Even though we young, we all going to live a lot of life in, you feel me? We real mature for our age and stuff, so. Hell yeah, yeah. All right, so um, it was saying, how do you guys know each other, friends and family? So, me and LC <laughs> are blood brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, we look like twins in real life. That's what a lot of people claim. So I know it don't look like that from the camera, but if y'all to see us in person and not hear us speak, a lot of people say we look like twins. It's just yeah. that he lied to let me. Yeah, people Same even call us that. the twins. Like, even yesterday, somebody was like, twins, what up? You feel or they be like, what's up, twin, if they don't know our name? And yeah. not saying it like the Atlanta way. They say it because, bro, oh, you got a twin. Type shit. And then me and Brizo met here at the HBCU. First, I was like, that's the only reason, like, we are really... I think that's the only reason we came was to meet each other. Yeah, I think that was one of the, the main purposes why God yeah, made us come to college. Yeah, yeah, that's the main reason was just to meet bro, you know what I'm saying? That's, like, that's cool, my dog. That's my best friend, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we've been rocking since freshman year. Freshman year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That shit was funny. Uh, Yo, we got story times for days, bro. Yeah. See, that's what probably <laughs> some of the shit we could do too on the channel yeah. too, for real. Oh my you know God. You know what I'm saying? Story times would go crazy. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. met, um, of course, I'm Kai brother, and you feel me? They was on GTA, bro. <laughs> like, and they, they invited me on the game, and I joined the game, and Breezy was there, bro. And some of our other friends was on there too, and that was like how I met him. And I knew who it was because his IG name was Breezy at the time, and him and Kai always yeah. posted. Like, you seen one, you saw the other, and he, Kai, always talked about him. He was like, man, my my boy Ty. I'm like, and I just like, who is that? He's like, the light skin. You're going to know my store. That's like, oh. So, when we out in the game, I do a voice and not saying how he looked. Because he, he ain't had no goatee, baby face. Yeah. I was like, oh, dang, Kyle, like, this nigga got a deep voice. Yeah. I was like, he's like, he was like, dude. I was like, who is that? That's my boy Breezy. I said, oh, Breezy, the one from. He always had on, like, the diamond hat. Amazing, Lord. Or they, they always was doing, taking pictures together or, like, uh, they was always yeah. together, so that's how I knew he was. And I met him then when I came up here, bro. I met him like, damn, I, me and Kai came, moved in before Breezy, my freshman year. And then I met Breezy like our third day up here or something like that. Mm -hmm. Dude hopped out the car. <laughs> he had on like Yeezy slides and shit. <laughs> and he was turned playing music, bro. So <laughs> he just hopped out of the car, bro. They was, we was all jumping, bro. It was funny. Yeah, that shit was fun. Uh, all right, so, uh, it's like, uh, somebody said, can y'all make up for all the videos y'all miss? Yeah, we tried. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we did. Yeah, I thought we did. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. yeah, we trying. <laughs> we most really definitely trying. We not uploading yeah. as much as we did, like, the last two years. I think what you talking about then. They got to know what they talking about. Because we, we used to upload, like, same 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 videos. this day. <laughs> <laughs> Overworking, boy, yeah. for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they always getting a thousand views at least. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we was real there, like grinding, you feel me? And now we just trying to, you know what I'm saying, do a, a comfortable amount of videos yeah. where we don't overwork ourselves and still could do the other things that we had going on, you feel yeah. me? So, But there could be some days where we go crazy. We for sure go crazy some days. Yeah, because we used to be dropping like three, four killing voices a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. man that was crazy. The was killing crazy. voices used to be OD. I ain't gonna say we could do three killing voices a day. No more, not no, no more. Sure. We might get one, two, man. but one, one. Because <laughs> the way it is now, like the way we be pausing now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like. Yeah, because back then we ain't pause for it. Yeah. Yeah, but now, like. And the content got a lot better. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, the quality did too. So. You feel me? So. Yeah, we ain't paused that much. Now we could turn a 25 minute killing voice into a 45 minute Man, we turned the last one to an hour. You know the last killing voice was literally yeah, 45 like minutes long. Yeah. And for the people who ask, I know a lot of y'all miss us for real. Y'all, and we know who watch like all the time. You feel me? Even if the people yeah. don't comment. But it'd be some casual people who come on and be like, oh, drop this, drop this, make this video, make this. And be like, right. It's, if you go down the, the catalog, you literally see it, see us like get start from our first reaction to getting better into what we have now. We yeah. got long videos, hour like, videos, twenty v ones. We got we literally have all we got playlists to organize videos. Yeah, yeah. We to try to organize. We got like five hundred videos. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, 
It's crazy. a lot. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of K-pop, a lot of rap it's music, a lot of R&B. So I, well, we only had a channel for it. Yeah, a year? Or almost a year? Like, a year and a half now? Or a year and a half? Like yeah, something like that. And we got 500 plus videos. Yeah. They said, uh, who's your inspiration? Oh. That's the question. I know mine. I don't care. I got I got multiple inspirations. My first inspiration gonna be Jesus. There you go. You feel me? That's how I'm gonna start. Like Yeshua, that's my first inspiration. But after like people besides Yeshua, like the Messiah, the Messiah, uh, I'm gonna say uh, Nipsey, Malcolm X, Tupac, and that's really like my I feel top like we three. Did this question too. Like, you think we did inspiration? Yeah, I think. No, we I think we did like favorite rappers and, oh, okay. and then, but yeah. So this. It's a new question right here. Like, who inspired us? Uh, I ain't, so, I ain't uh, think I no person we look up to right now. I, but I say Jesus, dog. Yeah. There you go. There we go. We got no, no celebrity in there. Like, type shit. Yeah. Only reason I say, like, those are my inspirations is because I just respect what they had going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, Nessie was the first rapper I ever could say, like, okay, like, I, I kind of could look up to, to bro because of everything he had going on, and he was so genuine. He gave back, and he had his own store in his own hood. And everything. Like, it was all shit that I'd be like, damn, if I was in this situation, I would have tried to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the first person I had seen. And I was like, okay, but bro, cool. You feel me? And then Tupac, I watched his documentary, and I watched the Malcolm X documentary, and I watched the Malcolm X movie. And that's how I got in uh, with, with Malcolm for real because I was like, damn, bro, stood on. Stuff what he believed in, you feel me? Like, he used to be behind Elijah Muhammad a lot, and then as he grew up and got older, he started to just speak his own words, you know what I'm saying? And speak God's word, you feel me? He, he, in the movie, they had said, uh, you feel me? This God word, no hustle, you feel me? So, he ain't gonna hustle you, he gonna tell you what God tell you to tell him. I just, I fuck with that for real, because he had morals and integrity. And then Tupac, he just was. A movie like he did everything so young, and that's really like his work ethic was was rough because he was 25 when he died, and he already had three platinum albums. You know what I'm saying? He had movies. You feel me? He had all types of people trying to meet him. He had uh like documentaries, like short films with him with people. You know what I'm saying? He spoke his mind. You know what I'm saying? And he went to prison. He sat down. You feel me? For four years, and he still. You know what I'm saying? Came out doing the same. Malcolm sat down for 10, you feel me, for 10 years. And he came out and he changed because he went from a gangster to a thug to, you know what I'm saying, advocate. <laughs> okay, I think they had enough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my fault, but I'm just saying. I didn't get an answer. You asked it, you asked it. But I, 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 I was going to say something. It's like, I ain't really, I got, I had people, like, inspiration growing up and stuff like that. But now it's just like, I don't know. I don't know them. I don't know if they do behind closed doors. You know, they make exactly. music, they social media, but they can do all that. For the light, but I don't know what they do behind. I don't touch it. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say uh, I take inspirations from a lot of a lot of things, but my main inspiration is would have to be God and Jesus. After that, because Jesus is my savior, and the living example that most of us have is trying to live. And Jesus was the example. But other than that, as far as like through my life, man, I got like my dad, my Godfather is. Two main important ones, my aunts, my uncles, and my older siblings. I even consider Breezy like my older sibling. You'll never see me put him in the back seat, you feel me? Or the same thing for Kai and all my elders, you feel me? That's just how I was raised, you feel me? Like the youngest going in the back seat. But all them, like, and even like my older cousins and all my siblings and everybody who, like, I take inspiration from, I always take, pick up on their good habits and try to not do the bad. Cause right. Like, even all my elders that raised me, they taught me a lot of their good habits. And like, I did this and this was wrong. So try not to do that because I still make mistakes and stuff, but I try to minimize them because it's like, dang, if I know that's wrong, like, why would I try to do that? You feel me? Like, my father was a felon. All my homies selling drugs and they making fast money, but I know my dad went to prison. He missed out on life. So why would I do that? Instead of just, I could easily just go work hard and you feel me and be free. So. I take inspiration from a lot of things, and anybody could pick up on all the good habits, even if you don't know people, you feel me? Uh, like, even artists and things, I pick up on their good habits and the good things they say, because they can make demonic music, but you get, they treat their family right, you feel me? So it's just like, I always pick up on people's good habits, and that's what I try to do, so that's why I take inspiration. Yeah. Uh, 
to piggyback off of that, like, cause I like your your answer was great. You feel me? Um, yeah, I take inspiration from a lot of things too, you know, from whatever. And then one quote to piggyback off of what else he had said that uh, one of our uncles had taught us was that, um, the best way to learn is through your own experience. But learning from somebody else's experience is better than learning from your own too, because if somebody already experienced a road and could tell you how it's gonna go. Why not try to, you know what I'm saying, but like, okay, I got wisdom from that, you feel me, so I should try to avoid this. Because most of the time, if somebody done told you how something go, it end up going that way. Especially yeah. if they speaking genuinely, you feel me, so, yeah. yeah. Alright, next question. Alright, next question. The next one was, uh, let me see, I got hold one right there. They said, are you guys still in uni, and what course are you taking? I'll still answer what? that one. Like university. Oh, that. yeah, we had answered that. One. Okay, we answered this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, but and then, so I mean, we all, yeah, we still in college, and then computer science, computer science, business administration. Uh, and it said, do y'all like Asian girls? And we answered this before too. We say, yeah. Yeah, we love Asian girls. You feel me? Don't discriminate. Don't discriminate <laughs> yeah, against nobody. Just discriminate. What state y'all from? Me and C from Florida. Mississippi. Boy, we're going Mississippi. Then, uh, what do you guys study? Just said that. So, and then that's it. That's it. That's <laughs> yes, a lot of that, but that was really just a part two off of part one. For real, a lot of yeah. the same question. We had to refresh type shit. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. if y'all got any <laughs> more questions, y'all can drop them down below. We might do like a part three this week because you feel me. We're we'll gonna do a lot of Q and A's and stuff like that. We know y'all wanna learn a lot. Y'all can even ask about the merch or like more how we feel about certain groups and things and stuff like that, or just our opinions on a lot of stuff. And we we'll try to come out with a part three later this week because you feel me. This was kind of like a piggyback off of part one. So y'all let us know. Y'all let us know if y'all fuck with the merch. You feel me? We're gonna hit eighteen k. We're gonna roll to hundred k, man. So we thank y'all for the eighteen k. Also for everybody that fuck with us for real and all the new people who may be on the way and you feel me and the casual people we appreciate everybody you feel me yeah and just to take your time out of the day to watch us you feel me because you can be just be some regular cool niggas so <laughs> uh other than that though we thank y'all we thank god most importantly we appreciate y'all for coming together staying down y'all make sure y'all like comment subscribe you feel me man thank y'all for taking the time out there to watch us once again man praise y'all we all day every day with that being said man yes sir ski we gone peace and love man hood